ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. If you have never been here before, welcome. I just said that twice. You're super welcomed now. If you want to join this crew we've got going on, click that subscribe button. I'm sure you know where to find it. Also, feel free to click the bell button to get notified when I post. And if you like this tutorial, then please give it a thumbs up. So I had someone ask if I could do a peachy purple makeup look, and this is what I created for you guys today. It is more of a half cut crease with a wing liner and like a blown out lower lash line. So if you guys want to see how to get this look, just keep watching and before we get into today to who whoa and before we get into today's video I am doing a giveaway for my monthly favorites if you want to see what I'm giving away and learn how to enter that giveaway I will have the link to that in the description as well as up here so now let's jump into today's video all right ladies and gents so for today's tutorial we're gonna be doing something crazy I don't really know what but we're just gonna go for it so the first thing I'm gonna do is my eyes today after I drink my coffee because it's it's early. <laughs> Dunkin's cold brew just gives me so much life. It's the reason why I'm still functioning here today. What do I wanna do? So I am going to be applying some tape to my outer corners. How I like to do this is I find the arch of my brow and then bring it down to match up to my lower waterline. I mean lower lash line, I'm sorry. So like I find my arch and then I bring it down to this angle here and that is where I set my tape. Okay, so now that I have the tape down, we're gonna go, oh shit, I should have primed. Backtracking, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer for primer today because I forgot to do that before the tape. If you're following this tutorial, put your primer on before you put your tape down. I do this every single time, I don't know why, I just always forget, I like jump ahead of myself. How's everyone's day going? It's a Friday, so we're pretty happy. I still have to work tomorrow, but it's at least a Friday. So I have that going for me today. And I have my coffee. <laughs> I'm a hot mess today. All right, so we're doing purple and peach today, ladies and gents, which means I'm gonna be dipping into my Morphe 35P palette. This is their purple palette, which is just absolutely beautiful. You have all of these shades and tones of purples in here, which I love. I'm gonna be dipping into this shade right here as my first transition shade today. And I'm gonna be popping that into my crease and then blending that upwards to start to build a bit of that transition in that crease area. Now I will be taking this shade right here, third shade down, second row from the right. I'm going to be focusing that a bit tighter in my crease to start to build the definition for that cut crease. Now I will be taking the second shade from the bottom on the right side, which is this beautiful purple shade right here, and I'm going to really focus on building up this tone into that cut crease area and that half cut crease area, so the crease in the outer corner, because I really want this to be the emphasis of the look today and I really want this color to pop. So what I'm going to do is I'm building that shade up and then going in with a clean blending brush and blending out those lines until, like I said, I'm happy with the pigmentation. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and cut the crease. So I will be taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This helps me to see where I need to be cutting my crease and it kind of helps me find that new crease, just like that. Now I'm going to be going into my Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia and I will be picking up the shade Realgar which is that orange shade in the corner right there. I will be patting that onto my lid over top of where I put that concealer and I'm going to slowly blend that back into that purple shade so that those shades meet and blend effortlessly. And then since I'm not quite happy with how that shade looks on the lid, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette and I'm going to be taking the shade Jones which is this shade right here. I'm going to be spraying a synthetic brush with some MAC Fix Plus and I will be applying that over top of the lid just to add more of a peachy shade instead of that pumpkin shade that we have going on. I really want there to be a bright contrast between the purple and the peach. Alright, now I'm going to take that brush that had that purple shade on it and I'm just going to blend out this line right here very slightly because like I said, I kind of just want these colors to flow into one another without there being any kind of separation. And then just doing the same thing to the other side, which I'm just going to speed up quickly because this takes quite a long time. Now I'm going to go in and line my eyes with some black liner, and today I will be using my Morphe Gel Liner in the shade Slate. I 
just looked at my screen and saw my camera wasn't recording, so I'm not sure where it cut off and I'm trying not to freak out. However, I just went in and put some liquid glow on the high points of my face and beforehand I concealed with my Tarte Shape Tape. So now I'm going to set my face and I will be using my RCMA No Color Powder to set my under eye. And to set the rest of my face, I will be going in with my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder. Now I'm going to go in and bronze with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Also just going in and contouring my nose with this. Alright, so now for highlight, I will be, actually just kidding, I'm going to do blush next. And for blush, I'm going to be dipping into my Becca and Jaclyn Hill Face Collection Palette. I will be using this shade right here, and this is Rosé Spritz. I like this blush, especially for spring and summertime, because it has a sheen to it. It has a nice glow to it, so it really helps to just enhance and brighten the face. Going over that with my powder brush, just because your girl went a little heavy, heavy-handed. Alright, and for highlight today, I will be dipping into my Morphe and Bretman Rock Babe in Paradise palette and I will be taking the shade Baby Girl which is this one right here. I'm going to be spraying my face with some MAC Fix Plus beforehand and then applying that generously to the high points of my face. And then over top of it I'm going to put a little bit of Get Laid which is this shade right here. I'm also just going to put those down the center of my nose, or down the bridge, a little bit on the tip, as well as on my cupid's bow. I'm also going to be mixing those shades together and putting them on my inner corner and my brow bone. Now I will be using my Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit to fill my brows in. I will be using my Maybelline Colossal Mascara today. I'm just going to put a quick coat of this onto my lashes just to prep them for falsies. And then for falsies, I will be using my Tarte Man Eater Lashes. You guys know the drill with these things. They are my favorite and they have been my favorite for about a month and a half now. Okay, so now that I have the lashes on, I'm going to go and finish off my eyes with my Marc Jacobs Black Liner and just line my lower waterline so I can go and apply some shadow. I'm going to go in with that purple shade and blend this shadow out today because I do really want to pull attention to that purple shade on the lid. So I will be dipping back into my Morphe palette and using this shade once more, which is the main shade that we use today. I'm just going to blend out my lower lash line with this. There's a hair in my eye. I can't see. I can't see and I have lashes on. Oh god. Damn. Okay. Crisis averted. Put a coat of Bad Gal Bang onto my lower lashes. And lastly, I'm going to finish off the lips with this Dose of Colors Liquid Lip. This is in the shade Old Flame. Alright, so this completes today's makeup look. I hope you guys liked today's tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, feel free to leave comments down below letting me know what kind of videos you guys would like to see in the future. And I will see you guys in the next one.